What's up, bros? So, today, vintage unboxing time. I don't know why I keep saying vintage, just regular unboxing time. First and foremost, go Bucks. What up, Bucks? Tampa Bay in the Super Bowl. Got some cash riding on it. Hopefully, gonna cash in. Looking forward to the Bucks beating up on the Chiefs. Pop, pop, pop. Go Bucks. All right, so this video is for my Christmas bros. Um, each year we have a little Christmas shindig. We do a little white elephant. Our main bros, we got Sean, we got Brian, we got Anthony, we got Mike, and this in the last two years has been Craig. Um, Craig was usually involved. Now him and Sean, they do have a little bit of drama, those two. They're like little two little uh, alley cats, you know, like clawing in the back. But I think they are, uh, they're mending it out. And they are going to work that, work that stuff out. And they are going to come together in 2021 and be boys again. Homeboys for life. I don't know why I do this stuff. I don't know. I'm not very uh, good in front of the camera that much. Anyways, so I wanted to do this. It's kind of late. But, you know, I, just, I enjoy doing these. It's fun for me. I like action figures. Um, they remind me of like a simpler time when things were just easier and you just looked for action figures so i've been having a good time with life i've been having time, a good time with my wife kara my daughter zoe um they were in the video yesterday my mom um beth sister trisha my niece annabelle um, my brother-in-law andrew uh, all those all those homies um you know just been really enjoying the time I've been spending with them and since I had such a hard time for so long really came to appreciate life a lot more I would say so it's like a a light bulb switched on for me um down here I'm trying to open this box so you don't have to watch me peel the tape off of it trying to get the tape off good so this is a Mezco toy um Mezco makes super detailed um six inch figs but they also made this which is like a 3.75 box set of the warriors the classic 1978 cult movie now i'm kind of a weirdo <laughs> i hadn't even seen this movie until just recently like by recently i mean like a month ago maybe two months ago but i wanted these figures because they look so badass look as uh, a lot of people say toyetic right um so that's a fun word and these are fun toys so I'm going to take them out. This is my first Mezco purchase. Um, I initially bought it off the website, and then I was like, I don't want these, and I canceled it. And then I ended up buying it off of Mercari for the same exact price. So right now, it doesn't seem like they're doing anything resale-wise. But I didn't get these for any sort of resale. I got these just because they look really cool. Um, I don't even know the name of the gangs. So it's about gangs in New York. Uh, very famous cult movie. It basically is over a one night period where the gangs have to get back to like their home base kind of thing and they're they're running through the streets of new york and fighting other gangs it's uh very interesting i don't you know cool movie fun movie there's some fights in it i think people like the fights it gets shouted out in a wu-tang uh song i think it's old dirty bastard when he's like it'd be like warriors come out and play yay. something like that i don't know but that's one of the famous lines and then they end up fighting on the beach or I don't know where ever New York City has some water Long Island I should know that better geography I guess um anyways so again I don't know the names of everybody it says these are the armies of the night the Warriors deluxe box set uh MSRP is $50 and that is also what I paid so it's about $10 a figure um they do come with these little bases stands which is pretty cool um, the packaging keeps everything nice and secure. The box, also I may have shown you that already. I think that's a very cool detailed box. So my boy Craig, he likes all these uh, weird cult movies and stuff. He's always turning me on to these weird movies. He's been doing that since we're 12. He was the first one who got me uh, illegally downloading music. As I'm speaking, accessories, which are my favorite thing in the world, are falling out of this. Um, Probably not the best best way to conduct a video, but still learning. I think I've said that before to you guys. Remember Ross Insurance Group for all your insurance needs, 727-734-7000. Hit up your boy, 727-734-7000. Um, so here we have 
It looks like a two by four with some rusty nails in it. Uh, that is fun. Also, I apologize for the lighting and the uh, camera. We're at my mom's house. We're moving into a new house ourselves pretty soon. So my mom also needed a little help. So here we are. Anyways, then we have a, looks like a wrench, some sort of pipe to just beat someone with. <laughs> pretty fun. Um, let's see what else do we have. For accessories, we have a couple baseball bats because we have the baseball gang they fought. I don't know what the name of the baseball gang is. See, I don't even know if I'm holding these upright. Baseball bats, and then this is the chain. Um, looks like we have Maltail, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Maltail Cocktail. Um, whatever, however you say it. That's a very cool accessory. I haven't seen one of these in figure form before. Um, we also have a little switchblade, a little stabby, stab, 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 stab. And then <laughs> we have, uh, I don't even know what this is. I don't know. It doesn't, oh, maybe like a pipe bomb or some sort of bomb. Oh, no, a spray can, spray paint can. Figure it out. Thanks, guys. All right. And then we have the actual figures themselves. We have the two baseball guys. They kind of look like the Yankees uniforms. The Furies. We have one in yellow and black face paint. And that's Fury 1, we'll say. I don't know, you know, it's Thing 1, Thing 2. Fury 1, Fury 2. And this one's got red and black. I like the red and black more. Um, articulation, you know, they just do this. Pretty much arms, legs, head moves. That's it. So what is it, five points? Oh, yeah, it's called five points. That's five points of articulation. All right. And then here is the Warriors gang members. I forget all their names. I don't know any of their names. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. This was the original leader of the uh, Warriors, but he died in like, the first scene. Sorry, spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen the movie, made in 1978. Now might be the time. All right, so he's badass looking, right? Very cool fig. He's got this cool warrior's vest on. And then this guy was the second in command, and he was always sulking, <laughs> sulking around, but he was always, like, fighting people. And then there was a guy challenging him always for, like, being like, I should be the leader. Who made you leader? But everybody backed this guy, I believe. Don't know his name, though. He has the warrior's jacket on, too, or vest, I should say. Again, I'm not getting this very good light. There we go. And then here's the other guy who is challenging that guy. We'll say warrior, warrior, uh, new leader one. <laughs> and this is new leader wannabe, right? He's, don't know their names. And he's got the warrior's jacket on it as well. Or vest, I'm sorry. So we got five warrior figures, or I'm sorry, we have three warriors. And then we also have two of the baseball gang, the Furies. They were shouted out by Wu-Tang Clan. Very cool pop culture. Um, Mezco, great toy company in my opinion. Um, very cool accessories. Uh, again, the cocktail, one I haven't seen before. Baseball bat, adds some nice details. This one's got the, um, what's like the pine tar or whatever the heck that's called, up to, running up the, the barrel. And this one's uh, striped, so. Cool detail to those. Um, I like this figure set. Decent price point. You know, if you look at it per figure, you're looking at 10 per figure shipped. I guess it's 12, but still not bad. Um, especially if you're a big Warriors fan. You know, I can't claim that I am. I just bought it for the figures and then watched the movie to be like, not a, uh, you know, <laughs> not a, uh, what's the word? A pretend person? I don't know what that word is, but you know what I'm saying. I at least wanted to know something about the movie. At least I've seen it. Um, the movie, overall, you know, if you like cult movies and like things that are a little little outside the box, it was made in 1978, so it's not as outside the box today. But I would give the movie, um, let's say, a 7.65. And I'm going to give the figures... I'm going to give the figures... If you've seen the movie, I'll give the figures a nine. If you have not seen the movie, I'm gonna give the figures an 
So good. I say you gotta buy these. That was a suggestion from Craig, Craigie, much love, Craigie. And uh, he said, would you buy it or would you not for that? That's one of the things he thinks I should incorporate. Would you buy this product or would you not? So I say this is a must buy for any action figure uh, enthusiast or any Warriors fans. Warriors, the movie, not the Golden State Warriors. Boo, Cleveland Cavs fan here. Cleveland for life, Tampa for life. What up? <laughs> this has got to be exhausting if you were like a YouTuber all the time. Holy moly. All right, guys, it's Wednesday night. I'm sleepy. I just wanted to do this to wind down. It's fun. It's almost midnight. Good night to everybody. Have a good rest of your week. Good Thursday, good Friday. I'm going to try to make mine productive at work. Ross Insurance Group, 727-734-7000 for all your insurance needs, right? I hope you protect their assets from loss. Call Ross. All right, later, guys.